super duper excited. It's so great outside. You see, I will melt them down in a crucible and test them like metal. What else can I do? Can you guys hear me good? Okay. <laughs> Let's get into it. So I've been just trying to figure out how to how to be all in with God. It's kind of hard just trying to understand, you know, what I am not, what I'm lacking in with my relationship with God. Let's really get into the nitty gritty. But basically kind of what I learned today through my reading from Colossians. Sorry, I don't know how to say it, guys. To, you know, not live in the ways of the world. You know, it's hard sometimes. It's hard to want to do the things they do. It looks fun sometimes, you know, but being a Christian is fun. Doing good is fun. No hate to them, no condemnation to them. Like, you know, at everybody's appointed time, they'll find their way. You know, it kind of went over for me in Colossians 3, 1 through 17, reminding us that we died to this life and that our real life is hidden with Christ. So, you know, we need to think about heavenly things. I remember I saw a TikTok one day, I don't know if it was true, but it's gonna say what I think. The girl or the guy, I don't remember, basically was saying like how God said that his children aren't looking forward to his coming, too caught up on the things right now we're too caught up in this life and i can really say at least for me sometimes that's true like and i see a lot on tiktok and just on the internet how we're like god like let me have my kids first like let me have my wife first and like we're so we're so excited for the things to come which it's it's amazing to be excited for the blessings they're blessings like how can we not be excited but at the same time if god was like okay husband kids you know what i'm saying or new earth i'm gonna be like i'm gonna go with you thank you bye bye earth you know <laughs> I say that now, but um, at moments, again, I get so fixated and caught up in this life, forgetting that, to look forward to the new heaven, to look forward to the new things. And then um, just, I have been lacking in my prayer life, honestly. I just don't pray as much as I should. <laughs> I just don't pray as much as I should. If that's a monitoring spirit, I rebuke you in the mighty name of Jesus. You actually are insane to do that. It is very odd behavior, and that is very weird. I rebuke you. <laughs> I don't like that. Yeah, bye. I'll see you. I'll see you. Anyway, so Proverbs 24, 27, it says, Do your planning and prepare your fields before building your house. Right? So if we're just really, really thinking about that. Why he fly that? Hold on, y'all. Look at this. Do not look over here. Anyway, basically, you'll see it in the video, but I put pray, plan, prepare, pray, build. Prayer is essential, guys. Like, so we love it. And so I wrote down from John 14, it says, You can ask for anything in my name and I will do it so that the Son can bring glory to the Father. And this is what Jesus is saying. Um, it goes for us now, too. Everything in the Bible is alive and well and it still stands for the stuff going on today so remembering guys that in prayer you can ask for anything let me tell you something before i came out here i'm like lord jesus please i don't want to see no spiders i don't want to see no bugs i want I'm you to put, put the, the baddest, baddest girls on, on the floor. floor so i just prayed that there would be no bugs around or nothing like that and yeah there's no bugs literally there's no bugs on the ground at all there's no ants or nothing and this place is usually filled with ants or just something but right now it's not you know what i'm saying so you could pray about anything guys it may seem crazy but god cares god cares about it all i also wrote down proverbs 16 which says we can make our plans but the lord determines our steps and lately i know a lot of us have been stagnant and i'm one of those few but that's when prayer trusting god reading your bible comes into play y'all when i'm not reading my bible as much as i am now my mind is just so overtaken by my overthinking by my thoughts by my own desires but reading my bible really just helps me implant the word of god in my heart you know what i'm saying and on my mind so that anything that just comes that doesn't seem like something god would say especially if it's evil especially if it's mean especially if it's like condemning it makes me feel shame it makes me feel regret i know it's not from god and i can automatically like just push that aside basically what i'm trying to say is write your vision make it plain continue to pray continue to trust god continue to read your word guys read your word please like reading your word is so important if you don't read for yourself and you're just hearing everybody else talk about god you're never going to really be able to experience him you know what i'm saying and understand what he wants to say to you i have a good day i'm about to pray take my little walk i love you guys and i'm gonna pray
practice what I preach, y'all. Can't wait to see how God works through our lives as his children. I will see y'all later. <sighs>
you know, it's real bad, bad, bad. And it's real bad. It made me real mad. I was like, now I get it how people feel when a song come out and everybody <laughs> like like the um song about Drake. I, and I'm gonna use it too. I'm gonna do the trend too, so y'all can bite me, thank you. But it's like she's evolving. Wait, how does it go? <laughs> anyway, yeah, don't make me laugh. But um, I'm done, guys. This honestly, I deserve an award for this. All right, I deserve an award for this because these are record, record, record-breaking times, y'all. Like seriously, to be doing my hair, like whoa, that was quick, man. I'm so grateful. But <laughs> also, just oil the back of my hair. I'm just chilling. Anyway, let's go, guys. Let's get it on. <laughs> Okay, seriously guys, don't mind my room because, um, like I said, I've been sick and I haven't even really been in here that much, but since I have been, I've been keeping me, I've been keeping me some toilet paper on deck for my snotty dotty nose. And yeah, I was supposed to eat this, but yeah, mm -mm. I wasn't in the mood for it. I thought I was gonna read, but I forgot I had to clean. So I'm about to do this real quick and then we can reconvene for reading. All right. So yeah. Thank you. And don't look at me like that. Don't look at me like your roommate never get dirty before. Thank you. <laughs> And one more thing, don't mind my blanket up there, guys. My blinds are broken, and I don't have a curtain right now or a little curtain rod. So, also, don't act like you ain't never did nothing ghetto before. And it's not ghetto, it's innovative. Thank you. Oh, I thought I said something. <laughs> the ink if like their pillows or their clothes even like if you're taking them out of the dryer or washer and they get on the floor you're like Ugh. I still wear them of course I still use it but I'm just like Ugh. dang it's dirty you know what I'm saying I don't like putting my pillows on the floor and if I do I put the ones that are the accents that I don't sleep on and then I put the ones like you know what I'm saying just for like the space come on okay. that's the same they got your touch I have a story time that I think I'm ready to finally tell you guys. Cause you know, that's the same that got your baby daddy touch. Yeah. Not that I have a situation at all in that context. You know, I just got a story to tell y'all.